You're listening to Israel's number one podcast. Podcast to the list. You're a crap monster. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yay! We have somebody very special. Yay! <laughs> Long time coming. <laughs> we have we have very important person Tom with Tom us here today. Here. Hello. Tom is here. Tom I'm last here. name on here. On mm-hmm. here in here inside in, of all of you. Yep. On your phone. Tom now? all up in this is is with us today. Very excited. How is it going, yeah. man? Good. Good. Thank you for having me. I've been uh Waiting for so long to be invited on. It only took how many episodes? That's that's fine. <laughs> no big deal. We we were busy. Yeah, we were actually like really busy. Oh, uh, we were uh-huh. so busy. It's yeah, so we it actually, sucks yeah. how busy we. I get. mean, yeah, there was this thing where Patrick he had to like make dinner one night, so it was just that was mm-hmm. in a whole ordeal. So yeah, and I burnt the dinner too. He burnt the dinner. Oh, so shit, dude, yeah. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Yeah. yeah. So now you, f- yeah, I feel yeah, so been, now you gotta feel bad. I've been I've been right. really busy too. I've been kind of like working on my hustle, um, mm. my money, mm-hmm. that type of thing. Which you know that anyone who knows that's a twenty four seven type of Cam's deal. Cam's being coy. Yeah. Cameron has been auditioning for Stomp this whole. He's been in the, <laughs> yes, the, the been, process. Of I've auditioning been auditioning for Stomp. For Stomp. Um, I I want to be I, I I would like to be a guy who who gets to do like the one really cool jump. Like I I'm maybe mm. not in not in the dance for most of it, but then I like jump from like twenty feet in the air and land on a trash can, and it makes a noise you've never heard before when my shins chatter. That's kind of the role that I'm auditioning for. Yeah. It's difficult. Yeah. Um, I've been in and out of the hospital, and the casting directors don't like me. They don't like the threats I've made. They don't like the pictures I've taken of them. Mm. And or, they don't like. They don't like. Uh, the, the thing is, is that they don't like something new. They don't like something right. Fresh. I mean, they just yeah, want to keep they, in their old ways. Absolutely, they want to keep the white man down. Mm-hmm. Um, which is, you know, something I've gone on about at great length. If you <laughs> yeah, read my blog. Right. <laughs> 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 you want to go more into this one? Yeah, let's lean in. Let's go. Um, there are a lot of good recipes on that blog, too. It's, just, <laughs> good yeah, recipes, it is, yeah. it's mostly recipes. <laughs> yeah, except for the occasional post. It's well, like, no, it's, man, it's they like every recipe. put me in stomp. Yeah. It's every recipe blog where there's like, you know... A thousand words of like the most banal story, and then a <laughs> yeah, really the good story recipe. Is just, I have been auditioning for Stomp for <laughs> ten months. <laughs> this is the only thing I'm allowed to eat because of my uh, strict diet or my strict training regimen. Yeah, and uh, of making so, my shins yeah. as weak as possible so they snap <laughs> on every jump. Yeah, I'm trying the calcium free diet. <laughs> um, it's really, <laughs> it's really been, it's really been doing a number on my bones. Um, I can feel them getting crunchy. Yeah, uh, weaker they by feel, the minute. Yep, they are. They feel like the inside of a peanut butter M and M. Um, that's I was how gonna say. Of, I was gonna say if you're if you're at peanut butter M and M, wait till you get to a butterfinger texture. Oh my god! Oh, that's gonna. Yeah, fl- yeah your bones are just gonna flake yep, off. I've been like, I've been sitting in, in hot cars all summer trying to melt my bones down <laughs> a li- just a little bit. <laughs> I've been sitting in a hot car and then go- and then going into the sneaking into the walk in freezer at McDonald's to try and make my bones more brittle so they break more easily. Yeah, just soaking, filling up a bathtub with Coca Cola and just dipping yeah. my legs in for hours at a time. <laughs> I've been the on- acid just kind of yep. <laughs> burn through. I've also been heavy on the microplastics diet. Mm, that has been mm. really good for me. Um, I'm working on becoming infertile because that will make it easier for me to retain and perform yeah. better in my auditions. Well, actually, if you want to become weaker, you need to come as much as possible because retaining actually makes you really strong. And that's just a fact. It's true. Yeah, okay. I don't mean but, to correct you on your own show, but well, like I just you know if we're gonna talk about retaining, okay, why let's did Cameron just end the recording? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to. I still need to have some strength. I need to be able to jump. All right. No, no they can drop you. They could just drop you. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you know, like, I might bring that up to the to the casting directors. That might make them a little more sympathetic to my cause. Yeah, now, listen, guys, you can you can just get pull me up there in a harness. You don't mm-hmm. even don't worry about just, a catwalk or anything. Just let it go. Just yeah. let me go. Let me do my thing. All right. Nobody get me on no, nothing. Just let me fall. It's gonna be good. It's Please. gonna be great. 
And it, I mean, if you if there's another guy inside the trash can that I'm falling onto, that'll make an even crazier noise. I mean, it's all about mm-hmm. you guys. You guys are making the same stomping noises day in day out i want to do something new okay here's an idea we get an even weaker guy inside of that trash can (laughs) and so when you land on him he crushes just in half completely yeah Yeah. imagine it's gonna sound like it's gonna sound like the green line at the boylston stop in boston combined (laughs) with the minecraft fall damage sound and it's gonna be incredible (laughs) it is gonna change the game and just wait until i chop and screw it because i'm also A DJ. We're, gonna, we're only going to have one shot at this. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you better get the camera out. All right. It's going to be so sick. I'm just, I'm just glad that you know Cameron's following his passion. Yeah, Absolutely. It's I mean, yeah. You know, other podcasts, they're, they're other podcasters. They sit around. They, they, you know, they talk for uh, two hours a week to each other, and then they spend the rest of the time what watching movies, um, playing video games, reading the Silmarillion, going on a walk, trying to figure out what to do. No, not me. I've never done anything like that. I'm day in day out. I'm jumping off my couch over and over, um, and I am creating a hairline fracture in my shin so that those puppies just explode out of my legs when yes. I <laughs> when I uh, have to stick any fall that's further than that. Yeah, you're micro bruising your shins with a hammer exactly. by just tapping it over and over again, <laughs> creating small fractures. Yeah. I have a doctor. Snap. I have a, one of those reflex hammers that the doctor they, <laughs> they have at the doctor's office, and I'm just hitting my shins over and over again in different spots. And it, I can see it's it's really it's really magical. <laughs> <laughs> I can What's see the to effects me. taking place, and uh, <laughs> I think you're gonna like it. Yeah, I think you're gonna really like me in stomp whatever <laughs> the next stop is <laughs> you know, they have like a, a whole theater I've, I've seen i think i was walking somewhere around You've here in new it. york i haven't seen stomp i've seen a theater that just said stomp on it i are you thinking of like a basketball court where you saw saw guys jumping around <laughs> I, and you go oh this is stomp. this is crazy these guys are, that might be it might be <laughs> what is this stomp no it's on second ave the East Village Theater with shows ranging from Little Shop of Horrors to Stomp, but it's called Stomp. The so it's not it's not Stomp. called Little Shop of Horrors and Stomp. Well, it'll be called Little Shop of Horrors when Cameron's done. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey. Oh my God! They are doing Stomp. This Stomp. I'm looking at it right now. They have resumed Stomp after COVID nineteen. They're back. Oh, thank God. Oh yeah. my nice. goodness! Finally, I might need to take a trip up to the city. Yeah. Go to stomp. Set. Yeah, go to stomp <laughs> seven times in a week. <laughs> Let me. See, I just want to see how much how much tickets cost really quick. Um, it, they're they're probably so expensive, but I am on the merch page, and I am they got merch. At, they got merch, dude. They got I, merch. You oh, can buy yeah. stomp drumsticks for fifteen dollars, just dude, like they use in the they show. Got, they, what do they use drumsticks? Wouldn't I thought they just I, I okay. I'm going to expose myself here. I've never seen stomp. And I just assumed they jumped around a bunch. That's so but messed up, man. I've You've never, never seen, seen Stomp, Stomp either. I think I've seen like a, a commercial or a preview for it on a DVD or something. None of um, you guys have they, seen they, Stomp. They, they, use, they do percussion with like garbage cans and stuff, right? <laughs> Is that yeah. that's, that's an element of it? Yeah. Okay. It, I'm glad I got that right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that's, I don't. I just, I just assume there's people jumping around, stomping on the ground. So, but then like uh, that, it shouldn't be called Stomp. It should just be called like noises. Yeah. Yeah. Trash noise. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're not going to believe this. We could get two seats to see Stomp tomorrow. Oh, shit. For $48 each. Ooh, they, got, they, got even, they got three tickets available, too. Look at that. They're all next to each other. Oh, look at this. There's three of us here. Let's go. Whoa. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> here, if, I, if we see Stomp, um, I'm only going to see it at in Dayton, Ohio at the Victoria on October <laughs> <laughs> 15th. <laughs> I'm putting my foot down. All right, I'll get you there. We're gonna get skyline, and we're gonna go to. Stomp. Oh my god, that would be beautiful a, Dayton, Ohio. Dream. Yeah, a beautiful, a, beautiful a, Dayton. <laughs> oh, god, love it. Tropical Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, we call it I've God's country. There. I've yeah. been there yeah, like, like when I was 18. I just turned 18, and that was like my uh, birthday road trip. Was going to Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I assume you went to the university and like party or no no it's no. me and my mom oh, okay well then <laughs> okay <laughs> and my friend alex and and my dad my brother nah and that we sounds just, like a fun trip 
Yeah, we we uh we just it was the first time I've ever eaten raisin canes, and oh, then okay. I found out that it wasn't a chain that's local to Dayton. Oh yeah, they yeah. opened one up in anywhere. Boston. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's like when I went to when I went to L.A. and I had Chick Fil A for the first time. I, was like, I had Chick Fil A for the first time in L.A. too. Oh yeah, I forget they, they don't have it. They don't have them around here. They, they might have. Oh, I think they have one they have, around here. They have one in Nashua, New Hampshire. There is a there's a fake one in Boston. There's one yeah. on on Google Maps. It claims there's one, but if you go there, it's just it, there's nothing. It's empty, and there are a bunch of rev- reviews on it that say, "Do not go here. This is a <laughs> fake Chick Fil A." <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. great because I did want to try it in Boston. Me and I never Caleb, got tricked by it though. You me, guys we told never. Me, me and before. Caleb were like, "Yeah, we we walked to try and find it." And we just, it was like an empty storefront. And we talked about like taking a picture in front of it and then just photoshopping like a Chick fil A sign there and just like rating it five stars. And you're <laughs> like, yo, this is great. It just opened. <laughs> I'm so glad they finally but, opened. <laughs> yeah, we never, we never got around to it. That would be a good idea though. You know, if anyone else wants yeah. to steal that, go ahead. Mm-hmm. That's like, um, that's like when the Taco Bell first started opening up. Downtown oh my God, in, in dude. Boston. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. I'm, that one, I'm so glad that I, I don't live downtown that I, and I don't go downtown anymore mm-hmm. now that the the taco bell's there because that would be a problem for me yeah that would be an issue you don't go to downtown boston anymore uh, not really i don't have anything to do there the go taco primark. bell yeah taco bell and primark, primark taco yeah bell. well there's a taco mm-hmm. bell near here too but it's it's just far enough yeah, away it's not downtown yeah that's true you could be downtown you could do uh i could yeah. to boston twice in my life yeah right. <laughs> I'm trying to think, what, what do i remember from boston <laughs> Uh, you could help uh, my sibling-in-law move, which is what I did the first time I, <laughs> I visited. And then uh, you could take like that uh, walking tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. we did the second time. That would be, Cameron's that walking done. tour with with Taco Bell. Now that would be a dream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would just be. <laughs> it's a walking nice. tour to Taco Bell. And all the stops are just like, oh, this is where like. Uh, well, I would I would go to Taco Bell first. I would like like it's you know like getting popcorn at the movies. I would go first. I would get a huge bag. I would get like mm-hmm. like twenty items, and I would just eat them insanely loud right next to the tour guide the entire time. Mm-hmm. And I would keep well, offering. Yeah. I would keep interrupting the tour guide to offer them like a quesadilla or something, and getting really offended when they said no. <laughs> but why would they say no? You're offering like a free exactly why would they say no and it's kind of messed up yeah there would be a lot of trouble by the end of the tour i would be in a (laughs) i would i would have gotten myself in in big trouble that i can't elaborate on (laughs) it's a oh you could go to the uh the army navy store there is there an army navy store oh yeah there is yeah 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 that's disappointing that they have both like mm. they're supposed to have a rivalry, right? Yeah, it should be yeah. supposed yeah. to get along. Oh, it was all kayfabe. Yeah. All along, they were yeah. on the same side. That just pissed <laughs> yeah. me off. Nah, this, fu- <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> yeah. At least I have wrestling. That's still real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the army and the navy—that's fake. That's ah, uh, yeah. That's ruining my mood. Um. All right. I feel like we can kind of get into this stuff kind of early because most of them are. This is, I think, longer than most of the stuff we do. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm reading in some of this. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So yeah, we got you know sweet sweet baby boy tom with us and oh yay we figured we'd read some sweet delightful stories <laughs> <laughs> that will make nobody mad uh-huh. nobody will get angry at us or tweet no. at us yeah no um, one will say you nobody will be unable to finish this episode <laughs> Well, they're nice stories, and they're mm. they're nice. They're and they're hard yeah. yeah, these are these are some stories. So basically, you just throw these this episode on. Um, you leave this. You play this through your baby monitor at your baby. Right when your when your girlfriend asks, "Hey, sleep. what's the deal with this that podcast that's on your phone that you listen to?" You can show her this one. Yeah, right? yeah. this Anybody, is the one. This is yeah. the first episode you have yeah. them listen to. This is to. the girlfriend and parent safe episode. Put put this on at work. Yep, if you're allowed absolutely. to play any sort of thing at work. This is Even fine. if you're not, you know, yeah. your coworkers just, are going to love you. Just put it on. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a, a, it's not really a list, but it's a list that, it's a list in that it's a list of stories that I found. Uh, most of them are on DeviantArt, which I, I'm going to try and delve more into for this show because I did not, I kind of thought like oh, it man. came in a stroke of genius. There's some, I forgot there's like, like text posts on DeviantArt and there's some crazy stuff on there so it's, there's a lot of bad stuff on DeviantArt. Yeah. There's, there's people that like post their food 
all the time on DeviantArt, and it's yeah. just the saddest meals you can I imagine. love the people who, like, Photoshop themselves to have, like, powers and stuff. That's Oh, really yeah, those like are the sickest ones. Well, yeah. I like um, making them and imagining myself so, as being yeah. stronger than Goku. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, wa- <laughs> I don't want to give away... I don't want to give away yet what this is, so I'm going to read the title, but not all yeah. the title, and I'm just going to start reading the story, and, you know, it's just a nice story, so I'll just read this to you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, fun. This story is called Fun with Babysitter. Okay. Off to a good start. Yeah. So it's going to be a nice story. A, yeah. nice, a nice story about a nice little <laughs> evening. Okay. Here we go. It's Sunday, meaning Max's mom is going out tonight. Max loved Sunday because it meant he got to see his babysitter, Ashley, who he secretly had a crush on. Max was playing in his room, patiently waiting for Ashley to arrive. Hey, Max, we see Ashley pulling in the driveway, so we're going to leave now, Max's mom yells from the other room. Max quickly jumps up and bursts out of his room. When he gets to the front door, he sees Ashley standing there. Hi, little guy, Ashley says, opening her arms for a hug. Ashley, Max yells as he runs over to Ashley and gives her a big hug. Bye, Max. Be good. Love you, his mom says as she leaves. I missed you. I missed you. You so much, says Max. I miss you too, cutie pie. What do you want to do today? Hmm. I don't know. You can't think of anything. So so far, this is just really nice. So far, I'm mm-hmm. really I'm, yeah. This is this is a nice story about an adult child, <laughs> um, an adult with it's a babysitter. Yep. It's this is this is a 21 year old with a <laughs> 21 year old with a babysitter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't stress it enough. I fucking hope it's an adult. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, there is one thing. Max starts to blush. Uh-oh. Well, what it is? Max give no on swear and just blushes <laughs> even more. <laughs> what? You 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 won't want to do it. What are you talking about? You know I would do anything you want to do. But but it's weird. Weird, so what? There's nothing wrong with being a little weird. <laughs> there isn't? No, not at all, Max. I would never make fun of you. Ashley's sweet angle like voice put a beaming <laughs> smile on Max's face. They so... gotta get an editor on here or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it you wanna do? <laughs> well, I um Max starts blushing again. <laughs> Can I smell your butt? <laughs> hey, adult. This is an adult again. Bro. Yep. <laughs> two two yeah. consenting adults. Yep. My butt? Ashley looked confused. Aw, now you think I'm weird. No, Max, <laughs> not at all. I mean, if you want to smell my butt, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. So you'll let me? Of course. Yay. Max jumped with excitement. So I guess I'll just lay on my belly. <laughs> then you can lay your face on my butt and smell it. <laughs> Max giggled. Okay. <laughs> Ashley laid on her stomach, followed by Max burying his nose is her crack. <laughs> <laughs> she was wearing she was wearing leggings so Max could really get his nose in. Haha, <laughs> 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 oh, that tickles, Ashley giggles as Max starts taking big sniffs of her stinky bum. <laughs> How does it smell? Ashley asks. Stinky, hee <laughs> <laughs> Well, duh, it's my butt. Max cointined to sniff away at Ashley's <laughs> ear <laughs> Suddenly, Ashley felt a rumble, a rumble in her tummy. Uh-oh, I think I have to fart. You might want to get away, Max. You can fart, Max says eagerly. <laughs> you want to smell my farts, too? Okay, but I'm warning you, they're really, really bad. <laughs> Bird. <laughs> <laughs> I... Every all of these stories have the most the funniest onomatopoeia I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> They're really <laughs> they oh they love they love onomatopoeia so much. <laughs> the smell hit Max hard, but he loved it. He inhaled Ashley's toxic aroma deep into his lungs. <laughs> Haha, you really like that, huh? Ashley wiggles her butt in Max's face. You <laughs> Max's voice was muffled from Ashley's ass cheeks. Here, I got some more. Bert Blarp. <laughs> Blarp. <laughs> Blarp. <laughs> Dude, I, I know exactly what a blarp fart sounds yeah. like. I can, I can hear I, that I in know. my head. I mean, yeah. no, that, beautiful, I'm lost a, on blarp. Yeah, I can't hear. I can't imagine a blarp fart. I mean, what the what the human the the human mind can create is <laughs> is beautiful. Max was in heaven. He was filled with joy and farts. <laughs> the smell hit Ashley's nose. Phew, that stinks. She covers her nose with her shirt. I gotta say, I'm impressed you can thank all the gas. My friends what? usually have to leave the room when I rip one. <laughs> Fist. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a silent one. That one gonna reek. Oh boy, it did. It stunk like a fresh pile of shit. 
This next word. This next word. Bull, 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 blur. Oh my god, I'm so gassy today. It's your lucky day, isn't it, Max? Blorp. (laughs) Each fart, Max sucked directly into his nose, enjoying every second of what was happening. Okay, Max, I think I got one more fart in me. Ashley grunts and then... Bo 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 blarb. The fart shook Max's head. <laughs> he couldn't believe the size of that one. Ashley laughs. Wow, that was a big one, huh, Max? Max pulls in head away. Yeah, it was huge. Max giggles. Ha ha. I'm glad. I, I'm glad you like them. In fact, if I have to fart again later, I'll be sure to do it right on your face. Max was so happy. Now he loved Sundays even more. Oh, well, at least it had a happy ending. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's nice, heartwarming stories. <laughs> it would it would be really funny if that had just, like, a horrible twist. <laughs> it's like, oh, and she died from her farts. <laughs> and Max had to explain it to the police. <laughs> hey, Pat, do you want to read this next one that you found? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I, uh, man, I hate this one so much. <laughs> this one's really bad. This one, uh, I think, is maybe the worst one of all. And yeah. it's second, so. Uh, yeah. this one is called, um, Mom's Little Boy. <laughs> Extreme Slob Story by Kink Chameleon. And the, uh, the summary of this one is, uh, Mother Spoils Obese Son. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We could we could popcorn this if you if you want. I maybe maybe we each read a paragraph. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's good. Three paragraphs. All right. Which Four. one is this one? This is the second link here. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah. I it, it has a <laughs> I have to click on it. I don't really want to click on it. All right, it's not opening. Oh, uh, you have to hit proceed at the top because yeah, uh, it of how graphic you. it is. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. Oh, God damn it. All right. Chapter one. Mom's, and it's in quotes, little, so that's how you know it's it's two adults. Yep. I hate that there's so many of these. <laughs> I hate this so All right, much. Come on. Stop stalling. Let's go. <laughs> Shira slowly opened the door to her son's room, carrying a large three-tiered chocolate cake. Immediately, the musky stench she loved so much hit her. Okay. It smelled of piss, <laughs> shit, and cum. Her, her son's... <laughs> her son's giant form was sat in front of the TV playing some mind-numbing game or other. He was ginormous, over 800 pounds. And entirely naked, except for the various stains covering his body. <laughs> ever since he was born, Shira wanted him to have everything he could ever want. And with the sizable inheritance from her rich family, she never had to work. She could That's devote <laughs> every second of every day to him. It's a good character work. Some good, like, yeah. uh, lore building here. Mm-hmm. I know. He would, he would never have to work a day in his life or worry about anything at all. At all. In fact... He'd never even left the house or been educated. (laughs) She wanted him all to herself, living a lie of excess without any of those silly things like thought or dreams. Just pleasure. Oh, that sucks to hear. (laughs) That sucks to hear so bad, man. Who's going next? All right, I'll go next. Her daydreaming was interrupted by a loud whine and a fart from her beloved son. The poor boy was hungry, and she was just taken in his brilliance instead of feeding him. (laughs) She quickly rushed to her son's side, son sidestepping past the wrapper's boxes and the growing pile of shit behind her boy. (laughs) So cute! (laughs) As soon as he realized she was there, he released a torrent of drool and said, Gimme! She handed him the plate, and he immediately dug into it. Covering his face in chalk chocolate as he moaned, taking breaks only to take a drink from his massive extra sugar bottle of coke. <laughs> <laughs> extra sugar bottle of coke. His toes curling all in pleasure as he drank it. As he continued his feast, Shira knelt down and began massaging her son's massive stomach. As she pressed down on it, he let out a loud purr and began oh. shitting on the floor. Such a good boy. Yes, you are, she said, speaking in the same manner. Someone would speak to a baby or a pet. (laughs) A baby or a pet. She continues massaging his greasy belly, getting lower and lower as he continued farting, shitting, and eating. 
his moans of pleasure getting even louder. Dude, I don't know. It gets... <laughs> uh, no. Right, Cameron, I don't know. Like, Take God. this home, Cameron. Okay. <laughs> Uh, As she was tickling her baby's underbelly, she noticed that his cock was hard and immediately got to work massaging uh, the shaft. uh, Her little boy didn't like to be pent up, and she had started taking care of it more and more when he stopped being able to reach it. She began jacking him off with one hand and kneading his belly with the other, saying things like, You're such a good boy, and you'll be my special little boy forever. The sounds of shitting only intensified. (laughs) As he interrupted his own moans with loud belches and food. This continued until finally he came and finished his cake at the same time. Dude, that's the dream. (laughs) That that sounds awesome. (laughs) The rest of this sounds really bad, but yeah, but just that one line. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and then, yeah, nose dive again, screaming with ecstasy as he ejaculated all over his mother's hand and his underbelly. <laughs> she began kissing him all over his belly and licking up the cum. When she had laughed it all up, more, he shouted, punctuating the demand with a fart. <laughs> she would have to clean all that shit up when he was asleep. Her baby needed more food right now. She quickly, she quickly kissed him on the cheek and rushed to the exit of the room. Anything you want, baby, you're doing so well. She went back to the kitchen, her mind filled only with love. My mom listens to this show. I just wanted to, <laughs> my mom and dad, my mom and dad both listen to this. Hey, cause... look at it this way, right? This is not a premium episode. This is a regular episode. Mm-hmm. If you're hearing this and you're pissed off, you better subscribe to the Patreon and listen to something else. Mm-hmm. All right. This is yeah, your well... punishment for not subscribing. I think, I mean, that was nice. That was a nice little exactly. story. It ends with love. Yeah. It's just a story of. Family, family, Ugh, who loves each other. One of the tags on this one is uh, is burp, free form, <laughs> free form burp, free form burp. Oh, feedy, hand, fat, free form, feedy, hand job, lazy, free form. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, That's, that was really good. It was yeah. nice. Yeah, and Here, you said this, Patrick wrote that. Patrick t- <laughs> No, I didn't. Okay, sorry. No. I must have, I must have him. <laughs> this one, this one's in uh in the first person here, and there's a lot of dialogue. So I was thinking maybe, you know, I can read this. Somebody can maybe re- play the part of the sister. <laughs> oh no! Okay, <laughs> it'll be yeah, yeah, I just saw no, the title. <laughs> yeah, well, no, this is another. This seems fine. I, yeah, I'm not. It's, it's, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna judge a book by its cover, right? Absolutely. So, <laughs> yeah. so when we're when we're, we see this and it's sisters that job, and I think no, that's fine. We'll see. Yeah, yeah maybe, you know, maybe it's it could, about maybe it's, it's not so bad. Yeah, it could just be like um, about getting like a, a birthday present. Yeah, like a, <laughs> a cooking <laughs> dinner. Getting, yeah, getting, you know that's getting, what the getting, actual Dutch oven is. Like getting a Dutch oven for your birthday. Yeah, maybe that's what it's about. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, and I like I like the the first line here. I'll be trying to do a simpler style in this story. I mean, I won't go back to my original 2014 style, but this one will be easier to read than my recent <laughs> stories. <laughs> that's good. To, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. I just had a nightmare, one of those scary ones that keep you awake for the rest of the night. I also can't sleep because of the loneliness that haunts me. Mm, I'll be waiting until 6 a.m., then I'll seek comfort by my older sister, who always knows how to comfort me. It looks like human life is just a sad condition. Is there any way we could be happy? (laughs) Happiness is just a distant emotion that we'll never reach. I hope talking with my sister will help me change my mind and finally be happy. That that will be the emotion I was waiting for my entire life. I wipe my tears away and wait silently suffering. The darkness this isn't helping me. Six o'clock a.m. I knock at my sister's door. I know she's already awake. She tells me to enter her room. Who wants to be the sister? <laughs> I'll play the sister. Let me let me get into this character. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> What's wrong? She asked me, worried. She probably knew I was crying the whole night. I need a hug. I told her, and she immediately hugged me softly. I felt a lot better. Um. And I need another thing, too. But it's pretty embarrassing to say that, I say, blushing. You can ask me anything. I'll be here for you. She said. I almost cried. You are an angel, I say, almost crying from happiness. So what do you need? She asks. Do you remember when we were younger? You used to trap me under the covers and... Fart. Well, I need you to do that again, I said. But why? 
she asked. It will make me feel better, I said. That's okay. I will do it. Anything for you. She said. Thanks, I said. She smiled. Come here. She said warmly, inviting me under her covers. See, this is nice. This is a nice family story, cheering each other up. Nothing wrong with this so far. (laughs) I was so happy she was doing this for me. My sister is truly an angel. I remember when she used to do that. I remember her farts were really smelly. (laughs) I can't wait to smell them again and be happy. The nightmare I had tonight was incredibly scary, so I need a bit of fun. And what is more fun than farts? (laughs) Pat, you you, you can play the part of the fart here. (laughs) She farted a bit loudly. After a few seconds, a putrid stench assaults my nostrils and makes my eyes water. Maybe her farts are just too smelly for me. I move my head to outside the covers. (laughs) Stinky, uh... She said... (laughs) Yes, it stinks a lot. Can't breathe in there, I said, smiling. Uh, uh, but you need to breathe the gas to stay better. I can't let you escape. She said, covering me with the covers again, just like she did when we were younger. I'm so happy. Don't escape! (laughs) <laughs> she warned me <laughs> alright Pat you're up <laughs> <laughs> the inside of the cover smelled revolting it was really hard to breathe in that stench does my sister have skunk like powers <laughs> it, smelled, it smelled like a can of broccoli went really bad <laughs> can I breathe fresh air now I asked disgusted by the rotting smell not yet she said, giggling. But I'm glad I asked her to do this. It really makes me feel better, even though the smell is noxious, pungent, and very strong. This smell gives me nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> the quality of the air inside the covers quickly deteriorated. I tried to push a sword over my nose, but it was totally useless. It smelled much worse than a sewer. I need to escape from this. I try to escape, but she prevents me from doing that. No, she said. Please, I'm dying here, I complain. Does it really smell that bad? She asks, giggling. (laughs) This smell is rancid, I complain. That's a good thing to hear. Things are going to get even stinkier now, (laughs) she said, happy. (laughs) (laughs) At this point, thinking straight was impossible. I needed to get out from this eye-watering stench that permeated the inside of the covers. Every whiff I took made me want to throw up and cry. I begged for fresh air, but she wanted me to smell all of her smell her all of her gas. I was helpless in this vomit-inducing stench that wasn't letting me breathe. I knew my sister had nasty gas, but I would never have thought farts could be this smelly. Time's over. I hope you enjoyed, she said, letting me escape. I gasped for fresh air. Finally. Thirty minutes, I see, I say. <laughs> Yup, do you feel better now? She asks. Sure, I said, smiling. Her gas reached her nostrils and she held her nose. Oh, man, I wonder how you didn't pass out from the smell. You can't breathe this thing. It's too stinky. (laughs) She said, giggling. It was too stinky. Trust me, I told her. You have been a good brother. I'll make you breakfast. She said, going to the kitchen. I'll make you two eggs. (laughs) She said, smiling. (laughs) I smiled back. I feel much better now, and the thought of that scary nightmare don't bother me anymore. My sister's stinky farts saved me. (laughs) I need another hug, I say. She hugged me again and said, I love you. I ate the egg she she cooked, said, Thank you for everything, then went into my room to play video games. The sun is rising now, and a new life for me begins. (laughs) Hopefully a life full of happiness and joy. I think me and my sister will do this game more often so that I can be happy. I'm I'm uh, looking at the comments here. I didn't yeah. know there was comments oh, okay. on these. Uh, there's uh, somebody says love this, and she's willing to do almost anything to help out her brother too. And that's, <laughs> that's uh, very nice. Yeah. Actually, and then they also say, As- actually, this gave me the idea of Miyoko gassing her younger sister Kiko on like a dare to see if she can survive her big sister's gas by locking her door, and she can't use her Saiyan powers to escape <laughs> either, or she loses. I was wondering if you could do that, and Kiko loves her big sister, adores her. Actually, their bond is massive. <laughs> and they said, I would do that in the next chapter, Life of Conistan. <laughs> oh my god, then, dude, they have world building. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have a fart country. Yeah, I, oh man. Ugh. Oh yeah, the, the, here, the, the author of that was named Chemical Vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what the sister needed <laughs> to clean up the room. Chemical uh, vacuum. That is. Oh a, my god. That is a good. Thirty-eight thousand views. Thirty-eight thousand views. Thirty-eight thousand. That is. Wow. Uh, yeah. Not enough, honestly, because it's beautiful. Well, hopefully, so hopefully this. it gets. Yeah. It's good writing. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good writing. It, yeah, I guess we should be plugging the names of the people who wrote these. You know, it's yeah. only fair. The first b- fun with babysitter was by X Stinky Fart Boy X. <laughs> so, so you know, if you want to throw them a little money, oh, or chemical something vacuum for their is in the comments. It looks like, oh yeah, short but amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Do we just, just keep going? Just yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Why not? <laughs> yeah. Let's. Let's let's yeah. let's move on here to Amusement Park by Garbage Man 95. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's there's several characters in this one. There's but so I don't know, we'll figure it out as we go, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. This story contains fart humor in some detail. If you do not like it, do not proceed to read. It's a good warning right off the top. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um Are you ready yet? Sadie yelled. I'm coming, just wait, <laughs> Ashley replied. Ashley walked down the stairs, the steps creaking from the force of her weight. <laughs> she wore tight blue shorts with a matching blue shirt. Let's go already, Kelly said. The four of them, Kelly, Sally, Sadie, and Ashley, began walking to their local amusement park. <laughs> I can't wait, Sadie said. Just don't get sick on the rides again, Kelly muttered. They arrived and were greeted with the smell of greasy amusement park food. <laughs> That smells great, Ashley said, sniffing the air. Let's eat first. After waiting online and giving a nice view to anyone standing behind them, (laughs) they just couldn't resist putting that in parentheses. Oh, your whole story is about these ladies farting, but like that's somehow the creepiest thing. I know. (laughs) They found a table. Their seats slightly bent as they sat down. After devouring their food, the four of them searched for a ride. That looks like fun, Sally said as she pointed to a roller coaster. Kelly's stomach rumbled. Are you okay? Sadie asked. Yeah, I'm I'm fine. As the coaster was making its way to the top slowly, an idea came into Kelly's head. Want to see something funny? Kelly said with a smirk. What? She leaned forward and released a foghorn of a fart. <laughs> it, it slightly shook their ride and caused the passengers behind to gag. The girls erupted in laughter. Nice one. Wait, let me try. She grunted, and just as the coaster was about to go down, a window-shattering fart blew out of her butt. (laughs) A few unlucky passengers had their mouth open. It stunk of rotten cheese. As they were screaming from the ride, Ashley yelled out, That was the turbo! (laughs) The turbo. Soon later, the ride finished, and the girls all had smiles on their faces. We should keep doing that, Ashley suggested. (laughs) Do what? Fart? Sadie replied. Yeah, it's funny. Let's find another ride. They looked around until they found the bumper cars. The four friends looked at each other and smiled. The light buzzed green and everyone started knocking into each other. (laughs) Burter was was heard from Sally's car as she hit somebody. Ashley drove towards Sadie and turned around so her backside was facing her and grunted loudly. This time, a low (laughs) fart came out. It stunk twice as worse as her other ones and lingered in the air. Anyone driving into it would be hit by a wave of stink. The cars turned off and they all got off from their cars. Ashley had farted so hard on the bumper car that it still smelled after she got off. As they walked away, they saw a machine that twirled you around. Strapped inside, the ride started. Woo! (laughs) Kelly screamed. Watch this, Sally said. She then released a terrible silent fart. It engulfed the ride and hit (laughs) all the passengers with a wave rotten eggs. They all laughed. Okay, it's getting late. All right, one more ride. The grand finale, Sadie smirked. So. So, Oh, oh, wait, who's saying I don't know who that is. Ashley, maybe? Okay. So, Ferris wheel? I mean, yeah, this is the kind of thing they got. If they ever want a film adaptation of this, they have to clean up the dialogue. Absolutely. Yeah. They have to make it clear For who's sure. saying what, because it's just hard. It's hard to understand. That's we're doing my... our best. Yeah. But we're not, we don't have a lot to work with right now. After walking there, the four girls board the ride. It slowly turned as they reached the peak of the wheel. Okay, ready? All smiled. Yeah. yeah. They all lowered their pants. Time. 
They all lowered their pants so their bare butts were revealed. <laughs> they hung their cheeks off the rail for all to see. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> At once, the girls erupted in a di- gigantic fart. It sounded as if three truck horns went off at once. Cheeks vibrating from the forts. It even caused the Ferris wheel to move faster slightly. <laughs> the smell was awful as it drifted downward, enveloping a portion of the park. They all laughed at their smelly work. Guys, got any more? Sadie laughed. If I push any harder, something other than gas is going to come out. They exited the Ferris wheel and went home from a day of stink. This is uh, at the bottom here. Mm-hmm. There's some uh, description about this story. Uh, four gassy girls go to an amusement park. Request from Codemaster nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Sadie, Sally, Ashley, and Kelly are his OCs. Sorry it took so long. I felt it wasn't its best, and still do. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> I want to read a really good comment um, here. Uh-huh. This is a comment from user that guy likes farts. <laughs> <laughs> I like and hate this story. Like, probably the first story that doesn't end up with someone shitting themselves. Loves yeah, nice. all fart stories. Hate. They, quote, they all lowered their pants so their bare butts were revealed. They hung their cheeks off the rail for all to see. I read some pretty nasty shit, but that's just wrong. So wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, the I mean, worst part. <laughs> I mean, I, I like farts I as like... much as the best guy, the next guy, but... But bare butts, no thank you. Yeah. Uh-uh. No, you I keep like, the clothes on that thing. I this like that Garbage nasty. Man has his copyright there. Yeah. 2011, yeah. 2021. <laughs> In case I steal the story, he's going to sue me. I'm going to get DMCA'd. <laughs> <laughs> Gar- that was really good, though. I'm glad. Yeah. I will say, to his credit, they weren't family members. And that's been a big yeah. step up. You know, yeah, for uh, the last couple just, ones, they were, they were just, just four, four friends. Four, four friends. for just four friends. That, and that nothing, no other qualities about them really either. Yeah, mm-hmm. just four just, friends, and they love to fart, and they stay really bad. <laughs> <laughs> they like to fart and go on the rides. <laughs> Who doesn't like to do that? Yeah, that's Man, for all I, of us. Yeah. yeah, what are you supposed to do? Hold the fart till you get off the ride? No, you're supposed to engulf the ride with a big <laughs> sticky <laughs> fart. Plus, it's the turbo with makes a wave it, of eggs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The turbo makes the ride go faster, so it's more fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just glad that one of them didn't fart and it like ignited something in the engine of the bumper car. So like yeah. a spark from the bumper mm-hmm. car, you know, it made it, the whole ride explode. That would that would have been really bad. Yeah, and I'm glad they like they never include like the people on the other people on the ride like puking their guts up and being nasty <laughs> like that because that would be too yeah. much for me. That yeah, would be, that would be too. I long. mean, you know, I can handle farts. I don't think yeah. puke. No, that, that's know? disgusting. Absolutely not. Yeah. No, no puke. It's just it's just yeah. wrong. There's it's a comment childish. here. Yeah, <laughs> it's childish as hell. <laughs> the comment here from Lone Skunk just says, uh, "What made you write this?" <laughs> well, Lone Skunk obviously didn't read the bottom because it was right. a request from Codemaster nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Obviously, very yeah. obvious. Yeah. This next one's pretty long, but it is. Um, long. It is. I thought that you know, it's a nice, it's a supernatural twist on the, oh, on the okay. genre. I think maybe we can switch off paragraphs here. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, and also I would like to say so far, if we're rating these, you know, so far, five stars, all of them. Hmm. Yeah. Five out of five. Perfect. So, yeah, I a couple can't. of them maybe six gonna, stars, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be logging them say. on Goodreads. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to be I'm, recommending them to my to my high school English teacher that's mm. f- friended yeah, me on Goodreads. I've, I've already printed out Mom's Little Boy. <laughs> I'm putting it in each of my neighbor's mailboxes. Like, you got to read this. Them, I'm leaving them in the little free libraries. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm putting all, I'm, bind, I'm binding them all in, like, leather-bound, like, like books. It's going to... It's gonna be Just great. A, a compilation of really good stories. Hmm. Yeah, and speaking of leather bound books, this next one by Ubiquitous One Hundred One is a girl's gassy spell book. <laughs> All uh, right, this was a, another request. This is another request. Um, this one's pretty long, but you know, hopefully, it's rewarding. Um, Arena Lexington was your typical college sophomore. She was on her way home, but had decided to take a look at some of her college town's older buildings. It was then that she saw the the book. It was a strange, ancient-looking book, covered with dust and bizarre writing. This is strange. Why is this book just lying here? She couldn't help but pick it up. Oh, well, it looks like the owner didn't want it anymore, so Arena decided to take it home with her. Arena arrived at her house and examined the book. What's this? Looks like a spell book. She took a closer look at the writing. (laughs) 
She just I wonder. Knows. No. Wait, hey, what's this? Knows it's spellbook. It just says spellbook on like yeah. the first page. <laughs> Chapter one, fart spell. It's like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Arena couldn't resist the temptation. She tried to say one of the strange incantations. Arena waited for a few seconds, then laughed. Nope. Just an old book with weird writing. Rena put down the book and stood up. <laughs> it was then that she first felt it. A very slight pressure in her stomach. <laughs> a mild but insistent bloating. Oh my, Arena exclaimed. The swelling only continued, stretching against the tight fabric of her shirt. Her belly felt inflated, churning with the growing amounts of gas. Irina was also becoming aware of the slight but incessant pressing against her bottom from within. <laughs> she realized she needed to fart. Irina was definitely uptight about that sort of thing, and she tried her best to hold the gas in. <laughs> but her... <laughs> but her stomach kept swelling and straining, and her butt seemed to be hugely inflating outwards. That's what happens when you're gassy, your butt They, they don't know how humans yeah. work. They don't know how the body works. Well, okay, okay, this is a spell that she read. That's true. I'm sorry. That's true. It is supernatural. Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh, he froze. Yeah. He froze there to for give a it, second. Oh, shit. Yeah, we have to give that the benefit of the doubt uh, that something oh, very magical could You're be right. happening. We shouldn't yeah. be applying like real-world logic to it. Mm -hmm. Right. The turbulent gas churned within her. She now looked nine months pregnant, fertile with <laughs> flatulence. <laughs> <laughs> and Arena was still getting bigger and rounder. Her belly was extraordinary taut, as if it were about to burst. Arena couldn't hold it in any longer. The pressure was too much. An intense, direct blast of gas <laughs> seemed to cause her butt to double in size <laughs> before exploding out of her with such force that her ass vibrated briefly. Arena blushed, but signed in relief. Another fart slipped out, brief but considerably louder than the first. Then two smaller explosions, one after the other. In spite of her letting loose, however, her belly had swollen beyond <laughs> anything humanly possible. It was inflated to the size of a large beach ball. <laughs> what was even stranger was that even though the farts were quite potent in smell, she could breathe them in as easily as air. Arena lost her balance and fell to the ground. <laughs> her enormous belly forced her legs apart. Arena groaned in visible discomfort. Too much gas a loud long wet and extremely strong smelling fart erupted out of her behind causing the floorboards to vibrate noisily <laughs> arena smiled in embarrassment dude. yet again to her surprise she could breathe in the dense air freely without discomfort uh, dude i hate when i'm trying to sleep and my upstairs mm. neighbor won't stop farting against yeah, the floorboards uh, and vibrating when, them when she keeps casting the fart spell on herself <laughs> and, and shaking the whole apartment uh, it sucks so, she cut loose and started blasting away. <laughs> the room was soon flooded with Arena's flatulence and filled with the rumbling reverberations of bombs going off. <laughs> Arena farted so many times in the next couple of minutes, she lost count immediately. Once she was finished, the air was ripe with her innermost secret and private scent. For the longest time, Arena sat in silence. She had fun cutting loose. But finally, she got an idea. Why not try this out on her friends, just for fun? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, of course. That's what, that would be my next thought, too. So she invited two of her best friends, Christine and Angela, over. When they arrived, she made conversation with them for a while. And then Arena cast a spell on both her friends. <laughs> <laughs> At first, neither Christine nor Angela noticed the sudden change in pressure. Arena suppressed her desire to giggle mischievously at the sight of her friend's belly slowly bloating <laughs> outwards with gas. Angela's stomach rumbled noisily, nosily, and Angela blushed. Oh, Seems I'm a little filled right now. <laughs> Christine started to laugh, but an even louder gurgle from her own belly cut it short. Angela's face was visibly red. I guess that meal I had disagreed with me more than I thought. Angela's stomach rapidly swelled up to the size of a volleyball. Uh, you know, if you guys can get your hands on that book, you got a, you got a good live show you can do. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. The blonde-haired woman was struggling to contain the growing gas within her, but her fart needed freedom. With a soft but very long and powerful hiss, Angela's divine wind broke free of its confinement and blessed the air with its presence. Christine looked surprised. Wow, Angela, you really needed to go, didn't you? Angela chuckled nervously. I guess I did. Christine relaxed, and her own aroma violently erupted from her body to join with the dense gas of Angela's already in the air. 
The two scents mixed and complemented one another. One fragrance <laughs> balancing out the other to form one perfect feminine perfume. Uh, it's like that scene in Ratatouille when he eats strawberries and cheese. And he <laughs> the different colors and tastes like combining. Christine was mortified, but at the same time was relieved. She looked at Angela. I needed that. With a loud rumble, both women's bellies swelled outward yet again. This is impossible, exclaimed Angela as her stomach grew to the size of a large beach volleyball, causing her to fall to the ground. Christine followed shortly. Now the gas was really being passed. (laughs) And both women noisily expelled enormous amounts of feminine flatulence into the air. Their bellies only grew and grew. Their shirts rode up on them, exposing the taut skin of their tanned, hewly swollen stomachs. <laughs> Angela and Christine needed relief from the incessant pressure, and the farts flowed freely and loudly in spite of whatever embarrassment they felt. Their faces contorted and grimaced as they struggled to expel out all of that flatulence. <laughs> All the while, Arena looked on with barely contained amusement. <laughs> the two women's stomachs briefly swelled up to twice the size of a big beach ball, and they gasped loudly as the sheer amount of gas buildup became apparent. And with two twin cries of exertion, Angela and Christine released the ripest, deepest, longest, loudest, and most powerful chain farts ever in history. <laughs> The extremely strong smell immediately gave away the fact that the gas had come from the most inner part of the women's systems. (laughs) Their hearts. (laughs) The blasts were so powerful that they ripped twin holes clean through both layers of the girl's clothing, and they both blushed fiercely as the extent of the gas's power became apparent. This is, yeah, this is... (laughs) It's taken a turn. Arena couldn't stop laughing for quite a while. Angela looked annoyed. What's so funny? Arena tried to stop laughing. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm the cause of you two letting those farts rip. It was so funny watching you try not to fart. Angela looked incredulous. What do you mean, caused us to fart? So Arena explained to them what she had done. Then Christine had an idea. Hey, why don't we all try these spells out on each other? It'll be fun. After all, Arena, turnabout is fair play. Arena smiled slightly. Okay, that sounds interesting. Let's try it. See what happens. So Arena got the spell book out. The first incantation caused extreme (laughs) bloating in Angela, but no supernatural swelling. Christine and and Irina had to coax the gas out of her by manipulating Angela's swollen belly with their hands. Gradually, they managed to get it all out of her. Christine and Irina also had that spell cast on them one after the other. This is so fucked up, dude. They, this is so unsafe. They didn't draw a summoning circle or any. Who knows what kind of <laughs> yeah. entities that could yeah. be loose true. in their house. Well, That'll no entity is going to be able story. to survive the smells That's true. in this house. That's yeah. true. <laughs> the next yeah. incantation caused their farts to actually be visible as brilliant colored clouds <laughs> <Come on>. of <laughs> turbulent gas. <laughs> Afterwards, they got into swimming gear and went into the pool. <laughs> And tried out the very first spell Christine had discovered. They had spent their time floating on the water surface, expelling huge bubbles, and using their fart to create bubble baths. <laughs> the latter experiment was particularly effective when all three of them were close together, creating one mm. enormous mass of gigantic gas bubbles. The real fun was when they tried out the next spell, and the last one they would try out for the day. They tested it out when they were inside and dried off. I can't wait to find out what the last spell is. Me too. Mm -hmm. Almost as soon as the spell was cast, their stomachs began to swell out. At first, it seemed like nothing new, but the swelling didn't stop. In fact, the rest of their body started to inflate with gas as well, and their flatulence became uncontrollable, both in terms of frequency and power. (laughs) All three of them grew grew rounder, larger, and more inflated by the minute. They wondered when it would stop. When it did, they looked like gigantic, round human balloons. Then they began to feel very light, and soon they were floating upwards until they hit the ceiling. For about a minute, they didn't know what to do. All right, take us home. (laughs) But as it turned out, their farts had become so powerful that they could literally propel themselves around the room. That quickly turned into an opportunity for various games like Bumper Girls and Aerial Tag. (laughs) And they played those games for hours. By the time they were done, the room was so filled with gas they couldn't be able to, they wouldn't be able to smell anything else for a couple hours. But they didn't mind. They were having fun. And when it was over, they resolved to use the spell book whenever they wanted to play these kind of games again. I mean, this is this story oh, I think is a great a perfect example of the 
the fe- the female mind is incapable of hustle, you know, because yeah. if I had found a spell book <laughs> like this, I would be using it to rob banks. I would be street performing. I would be making so much money, but they all they want to do is play bumper girls all yeah, day. They don't want to monetize it at all. Like you yeah. could, so people could up. pay to play bumper girls and aerial tag in exactly. your house. They're just like, oh, let's go, let's go swim in the pool. Yeah. No, dude. I would be online. I would be selling this. I would be selling the gas as fuel. Okay, mm-hmm. to to the government. I would be. <laughs> I would be becoming a military contractor using this spell book. I would uh, talk to NASA. I found a completely energy free use <laughs> way to go to space. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we could just use all this methane and just fucking, yeah. you know. I mean, it probably get up there. Do a number on the ozone layer, but we'll figure something out. This yeah. was made in 2006, and Jamal in 2012 wrote, please make a sequel. This is my request. And then <laughs> 11 days later, oh, wow, it looks like I'm six years late, huh? Well, the sequel would still be nice. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a comment here from Major Tom 2000 that says, oh, Major not me. Tom. No, hold on. Not me. <laughs> hold on. Clear. Hold says, up. But wait, if they couldn't smell anything for two hours, that doesn't make sense, because earlier you said they could breathe it like air. <laughs> It's a different spell, Major Tom. It was very clearly oh. a different spell. It's true. There's a there's a comment f- here from uh, Nick O nine Y three, and it, they say, uh, "I only c- I can only describe hat in two words: sheer brilliance." <laughs> Jump. Here's a comment from Great Five, and this is an asterisk. Jumps up and down. Awesome. Can you draw it as a picture? This is a reply to asking for a request. Can you draw it as a picture? Definitely should be a pretty anime girl who gets squeezed and goes, Psss. It's up to you who squeezes her. Non-fat, please. That's about it. No, wait. One more thing. If you write a story about a beautiful non-fat anime girl who gets a hissing fart squeezed out of her, then have the squeezer repeatedly squeeze her midsection, sort of pumping it, causing the gas to come out in spurts. That'd be super smexy. <laughs> please write the story if you want, but definitely draw the picture. If you draw both, I'll do a commissioned art piece for you of anything you want. <laughs> They're Clearly bargaining that. in their replies. <laughs> yeah. Playful Absol says, could you do something like this except with a dragon instead? And the, <laughs> and the author said, if I had the time, perhaps, but I can't make any promises. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm very busy. <laughs> hey, I got yeah. so many fucking fart stories yeah. I gotta write. Oh, yeah, man. add it to the fucking list, dude. Throw it <laughs> on the pile. Um, yeah, all right. This this next one, will, I think, can be our last one. Okay. Um, Aw, this one's nice. <laughs> This one's yeah. sweet. This Which one, one is this? this? Is a girlfriend's fart goes straight to the heart. Oh, by okay. The, that is by nice. the spazzer. It's very nice. Um, there's. This is another dialogue one. Uh, Pat, do you want to play my girlfriend? I guess. In real life? <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. And you're sure you want to do this? Yes. I always have. Ha ha. Well, all right. But if you want to back out, I don't think I possibly can. <laughs> I giggle as I hold my girlfriend close to me, her thighs leaning over and overlapping my leg. Just know it's my first time doing something like it, too. She slides over completely and fully sits in my lap. Oh, I thought that was your line. <laughs> I can't tell if it is. It doesn't yeah. have any names here. I know. That's the worst part about these is, you know, you can never can tell. You're yeah, right. That's the worst it's part about right. these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Patrick. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I just wish that I could like there was more detail about what was it's going just, on. That's my so, main It's so hard to follow the fucking story. This is a, this is a comment from Patrick two thousand. Hey, yeah. could you make sure to write who's saying what? Yeah, yeah, doing like script coverage on these, like leaving like a. You have you have tons of third act problems in this. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, try to. We need to know why we care about the characters way faster. Mm. You know, we yeah. Um. She slides over completely and fully sits in my lap. I can feel her back pockets touch my crotch, and I do a silent sigh of arousal and nuzzle her with my head on the back of hers. What? I know. Just make sure you get comfy, though. Is that? I don't know. We'll just. We'll who just is? Switch who off. is who? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter anymore. I'm. I think both of you are everything. Yeah. Nuzzling, I also, nuzzle her with my head on the back of hers doesn't seem like a very, like, just sticking your face into the back of her yeah. head. Isn't, well, is the, like, you drive that. it in. You drive your nose yeah, into the back of the head. head. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can feel her body seem to calm into me, and her butt got more into my crotch. 
Well, yeah, if I wasn't comfy, I don't think I would be doing this, hon. I go lower with my head, and now my face is fully in her hair, smelling the shampoo and conditioner she uses in the morning. It'll probably be the last good thing I smell. <laughs> Tom, this you want to Yeah, this is my this favorite. Part? Yeah, I got yet. the parts. <clears throat> <laughs> I like that this one. This one is like it's like a classic like burp 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 kind of situation, and then it ends with tort. Yeah, but then there's a brb right in the middle. <laughs> All caps. That was when the the girlfriend took a break from fart. Yeah. <laughs> so the DoorDash guy arrived. Yeah. And had to go pick up the order. I admittedly jolt a little as she lets out a long and bubbly fart point black against my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Clothed, but it feels like the blast goes right through the cloth and into my skin. I can feel her body relax and get, get less tense after the fart ends, and she can't help but sigh after. God, that felt so much better than it should have. How about you? <laughs> oh, you have no... It's a process. <laughs> First the blast, then the heat, <laughs> then... The smell. It rises from my lap and up to my nose, smelling like the definition of meaty, <laughs> with a smack of vegetables packed in. <laughs> I can't believe that my girlfriend, someone I find so attractive, someone I love and have a connection to, doesn't mind, and even thinks it's cute that I'm into her gas. This is the first time she's farted in front of me, and the first time a girl has farted on me. Hun? I must have been in a trance. I blink a little and put my arms around her. You have no idea how great it really is. So, it's, yeah, the confusing di- dialogue here, you know, there's no... It doesn't say who's saying what. Well, maybe maybe this is a Fight Club situation. Oh, oh. my God. Well, and But I hate to do this, but, you know, Pat didn't really sell me with that last line. <laughs> you know, I just... So, I can yeah. tell his heart wasn't into it. So I gotta read this again. I need that you to again. reread that. You have no idea how great... <laughs> It really is. That's all. Man, now I'm in it. Now I'm into the story. Yeah. Okay. Her body warms up even more from emotion, and she leans back, going lower on my chest and looks up at me. I think this is a Uline, Patrick, okay. and I want to really hear your, I yeah. want to hear just your love. It's just a fart, you goof. There will be more. <laughs> <laughs> I go down and smooch her forehead, even chucking to myself. Let's hope so. I just, Damn. like, I... I guess I she leaned back. I'm just trying to. I'm confused by like the bodily proportions. Of yeah, everything that happened. Yeah. In the story. <laughs> there, there's so much going on in this story. I mean, I think this is our first uh, one star out of five. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, but here's something here at the bottom. Hey, another scene story this time. I had to write it down and make a story of it, even if it is short. I really hope you enjoy. I love scenes like this. I also tried to make it gender neutral, so either gender can enjoy. Oh, I, I think they, maybe that's why they didn't say who's saying what. But that but doesn't then, really make any sense. Does it, it doesn't because they still use like gendered pronouns, right? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. They yeah. do. I guess maybe you don't. Maybe yeah. Maybe it's it's so if you can read it, if you have the kind of fart fetish where you like to fart on people, or if you like to be farted on. Yeah, either one. Maybe that's what they mean. But, yeah, you know, I'm going to have to hit this with a two stars out of five. Because, yeah. you know, I really well, like the emotion on display. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of difficult to read. I appreciate it. It is short and it is sweet. <laughs> and it is a loving, it kind of displays a loving relationship. But it is very hard to uh, reenact this with my partner. <laughs> because we both keep getting confused at what line we're supposed to read. So if you could Here's work a- on that for me, thank you. A comment from Boy03. If this is a true story, then goddamn, man, you got a wife on your hands. <laughs> and then, a reply from Fart Slave. I had a similar situation. It lasted one year and two months. I think that she doesn't even know what she wants. <laughs> oh, this one's fucked up. This guy wrote, I wish I could have a girlfriend like that. Then again, I'm a teen still in high school. Maybe one day I'll find the one. And one heart stinky girls replies, yeah, same, man. We can only hope. Oh. <laughs> Man, Aww. are you a teen or are you just saying you hope you can find a girl <laughs> <laughs> fart on you? All right. Well, yeah, I would say I'm sorry for this episode, but I'm not. Oh, that was really good. Mm. No, yeah, you have um, to listen to this. You know, yeah. <laughs> turn turn the volume all the way up. Yep. <laughs> you, you put this on. You put this on a Beats pill. You put it on the subway. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you will not get in trouble for listening to it. You are allowed to play it <laughs> over the loudspeaker at like a Target or a Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> you can take the phone if you, I think if it's like you hit the star button, <laughs> you can broadcast it. You know what else you should listen to over the loudspeaker at the store is uh, Chapo FYM streams. That's mm-hmm. right. You yeah. You want to plug that, Tom? You have anything else too, or just yeah? Uh, Twitch TV slash Chapo Trap House or Patreon dot com slash Chapo FYM, where we watch uh, videos that are very similar to this. Uh, and <laughs> both these boys have been on our lovely stream. So check that. We out. love Thank it. You. Yep. Yeah, and we we anytime you got a fart video, call us in. No particular yes, reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got, we watch, I watch just fat guys eating a disgusting amount of food all day, so they fart a lot. <laughs> so sure. don't worry, I will be calling you. All right. Well, thank you so much for, for yeah, coming Yeah, thanks for coming yeah, on. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Bye. Bye.